for uh, children, Coppelia is a wonderful ballet because the second act offers such a delightful story. Often called Dr. Coppelius's magic toy shop, the second act offers the lead dancer, Swanilda, and her friends the opportunity to portray youngsters who have entered into some stranger's house to find out what he does for a living. And he's a toy maker. One of the things they find is that the girl who is sitting on a balcony is really a doll, and they thought all along she was another one of their friends. I think uh, the story is very similar to Pinocchio. Uh, we, we're all familiar in this country with Walt Disney and the kind of effect that he's had on young people. And in ballet, I think the most analogous story is that of Dr. Coppelius, or Coppelia. The final love act of Coppelia is a marriage between a young man, France, and Swanilda. And again, you have uh, an array of ethnic dances, but further than that, you also have the offering of the classic variations. Um, in this story, we go from character to the delightful story of children and their dolls, and finally, to the classical style of the pas de deux. So I think uh, for Torrington, for a community like Torrington, it's very important to show people who haven't seen too much ballet this kind of dancing, the kind of dancing that they can relate to. Number one, the ethnic, and number two, the uh, children and their toys, and finally, the classical variations. As you know, this is the second classical ballet, a full-length ballet in our repertoire, the first being Nutcracker. And we hope in the future to add other full-length ballets, such as Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and so on. But this is our second major step along the way. <laughs>